Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video I'm going to talk about why I even have a boat. So some of my friends and some of my viewers have even asked the question, why do you even have a boat? You don't like to fish and you don't like to party. And I think that's a really good question because around here in the Chesapeake Bay area, there's a lot of people who like to fish and there's a lot of people who have fishing boats. And I think that's great. I love hearing about those people. I love looking at the things that they do. Uh, I love seeing how their boats are outfitted. I don't want to say I think it looks like it's a lot of fun because it doesn't look like a lot of fun to me, but it looks like they're having a really good time. And I respect that. And I see a lot of fishing boats out here. And then the other type of people who buy boats are people who like to party. They like to do raft ups. They like to tie off to other boats and hang out. They like to all go uh, cruising somewhere to a destination and hanging out and partying all day. And that's not my lifestyle. Um, once again, I don't find fault with that. Uh, it's just never been my wife and my lifestyle. So why did we even buy a boat? If we're not going to fish and we're not partiers, why did we buy a boat? What are we doing with our boat? Well, when we first moved near the water, it was very, very convenient for us to have a boat and to be able to uh, keep it in the water. And we lived right off the river, which is right off the bay. And so when we decided we were going to give it a try, we bought a nice little cheap old boat. And I've made plenty of videos about that old boat. And uh, we learned that we could find plenty of things to do boating without fishing or partying. One of the things we found that we like to do is there's some restaurants that are right on the water and you can take your boat and ride right up to those restaurants. And uh, so we've started going to some of those things. And then just taking your boat to destinations like Annapolis, Rock Hall, Baltimore, um, other marinas and things like that up and down the bay and up and down our river. Um, there's a lot of places that you can take your boat to go and just riding around. And then of course one of my wife's favorite activities is doing what I'm doing today is just sitting out here in the bay. It's quiet, it's beautiful, it's a sunny day. I could sit here for hours. She, if she was here with me today, she could sit here for hours. She's actually working today unfortunately. But there's a lot to do in this area with a boat if you don't necessarily fish or like to party with a lot of other boaters. Matter of fact, a guy in a little personal sailboat came by me a little while ago and he's just out sailing around a little bit today and looked like he was having a great time just being out here sailing in his little uh, day sailor. I've often wanted to try one of those out. Now if you like seeing videos of people who fish and videos of people who uh, party on their boats or whatever, there's plenty of channels that cater to that, as well as channels that cater to uh, people who have accidents and things like that with their boats. Um, my channel is not going to have any of that in the near future. Uh, maybe never. If you have any requests for any types of videos that uh, you'd like to see in the future, please be sure to put those in the comments below. As we go to different destinations, I'm going to try to shoot some footage of those destinations and talk about those trips. One of the things I think about is people who have very stressful office jobs. And you know, some people like the beach is their happy place. And if you don't happen to live near a beach or have easy access to a beach, it's challenging. But one of the neat things about a boat is that if you live off of a body water like we do, uh, to de-stress, it's not that hard to hop in your boat and come out here and just relax a little bit. Obviously the weather's got to be right for it. But when the weather's right, it's just beautiful. If you're thinking about getting a boat and you're sitting on the fence thinking, I don't know whether or not I should do it, just buy a cheap used old boat. Give it a try. Take it out a couple of times. Remember the first few times, it's going to be like you're driving with a learner's permit. It might be very challenging for you and the trip might not be as satisfying as you'd like it to be. Once you've taken a boat out a couple of times, I think it's pretty quickly, pretty easy to see whether or not boating is for you or not. 
10 years ago, I would have never thought I would have had a boat. I never would have thought boating would have been for me. But now I can't imagine my life without a boat. Thanks for watching. Here's a playlist of some other videos geared to new boaters and another video picked specially for you. Stay safe on the water.